I've been asked many times, I'm looking to move from MailChimp to ActiveCampaign, but I don't know where to start. Well, I'm going to cover that in this video. Hi, my name is Jason Kruger, and I help heart-centered businesses build and automate their online marketing systems. So you've decided that you're going to be moving away from MailChimp. Um, and you're going to be moving to Active Campaign. Now, you could be moving to any number of systems, but a lot of my clients use Active Campaign, and that's what I recommend. So, that's what I'm going to show you today. So, first of all, you'll need to go into your Act, uh, Active Campaign account, make sure that that's all set up, uh, and then you know which lists and all that you, you want to import people um, into. Then, go to your MailChimp account and have a look at your audience. So that's what we're going to do now. So I've now logged into my MailChimp account and this is my welcome screen and it's just telling me the normal information. But you know, I want to now move away from MailChimp, so where do I start? So first thing that I will do is have a look at your audience. So let's have a look at the audience. I only have one audience set up here, so I'm just going to click on that. And it's going to give me uh, the list of people that are in that audience. Now, I want to export those. So all I've got to do is go to export audience. It's now created them. And then I just say export as CSV. Now that will go and export um, those contacts into a CSV file for you to then upload that to wherever you want. Now, depending on uh, what information you've got stored against that contact, that will all be stored in that CSV file as well. So my suggestion would be once you've uh, got that downloaded, open it up, double check the information that it actually has in there, because sometimes it will have more information that's kind of not needed you know, when it was created, um, modified, etc., etc. So if you don't need that information, just delete the columns because it will make it a lot easier. The next thing to do before you go into Active Campaign um, is just go through your MailChimp account and just double check that there's nothing in there that you want to keep. So if you've got uh, some kind of automations in there with uh, certain emails, etc., go in there, copy um, those emails into a Word document so that you've at least got the content um, for that. You might also want to then just have a look and see how you've set it up. What's the uh, the, the timers that you might have set up be between emails as two days, five days, etc. Just take a note of all that information. The same thing with all your sign up forms. Uh, if you've got forms on your websites that once you close your MailChimp account, those are not going to work anymore make sure that you take note of all of that because you will need to recreate that all in active campaign as well so go through your whole mailchimp account making sure that you've got emails uh, forms and anything else in there that might be needed in the future once you've done that then all you need to do is hop into active campaign you will then go and find the list that you want to use click on uh, lists find the list that you want to use, and all you have to do is click on Import Contacts. Now you can import it from a file, and once you go through this process, I'm not going to do that now, but once you go through this process, it will actually ask you would, to make sure the, the list that you want to import it to, are there any tags that you might want to add to them? Uh, is there, do you want to add them to any automation, etc.? So you just go through that whole process and then import them. At the end, it will ask you what you want to do next. Now you could just go and see those contacts or you could have a look at the reports. My uh, suggestion is to look at the reports to make sure that everyone has been imported. There might be some there that um, haven't been imported for certain reasons and will actually ask you, or it'll actually tell you, sorry, what those um, errors are so that you can go through them um, and make sure that those are imported next time. So once you've got that imported, you would then just go through and recreate those automations um, that you might have had set up in MailChimp, uh, use the, the Word documents that you've saved with those emails, um, and then just recreate all of those. 
again make sure that you have all your forms set up and if you've got those forms on your websites go in there and either change out those forms for the active campaign ones or if you're using a plugin just make sure that it's now connected to active campaign rather than mailchimp and once that's all done make sure that you test it go through um, those those forms and make sure that you are getting the emails from active campaign for one um, but then that the emails look um, the way you want them to look and everything is working and then once you've done all of that then you can actually say goodbye to your mailchimp account and then just concentrate on active campaign so i hope you found um, those tips useful uh, and if uh, you, you you have found them useful please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell and you'll be notified when i next post a video so i hope you found that useful and i hope to see you on the next one